with that. I wasn't really expecting it. And Joe's got a bigger one, damn it. That hit hard and that was a big spoon. This is sketchy, man. Super sketchy. We cannot find anything. We're just going to have to camp on this old burn here. Uh, not what we wanted to do, but we can't be on the water anymore at all. It's bad. It's real bad. I don't know about this, man. Look at this. There's nowhere to put a tent or anything. This is ridiculous. we can do we gotta set up here in this little uh, exposed rock area we gotta do this quick so rain's coming down right now I'm glad I'm familiar with setting my tent up do it quickly hunker down. This is just going to be a sleep here kind of thing. There's not going to be no campfire. There's not going to be no hanging out, telling stories. <laughs> oh my. Tents all set up. I'm sitting out here on this exposed rock, cooking up my chili. That one storm missed us, but there's like just ridiculous black clouds everywhere. We did have to get off the water, no joke. Um, but this is really cool. We're on this burn. We got our tents set up, just like in the middle of nowhere, scrambled on the side of a of a hill of a exposed rock. We couldn't find anywhere to camp. There was no open space we would have had to hack our way into the bush it was so thick everywhere else so we had no choice but to come up to this flattish um, rock oh you can see it's clouding over again but it's actually pretty cool we, uh, I've never camped on a burn before it was exciting it was dangerous getting here uh, we had to we had to paddle here but we're here now everything's okay I'm gonna have to prop up uh, my backpack or something on my one side of my tent I'll show you I'll bring you on inside there when I when I go but <laughs> It's actually really cool. The panic part is over. Everything's all good. We're safe. So the, things change here at Woodland Caribou very quickly. It's very unexpected weather, um, and it can change from good to bad, bad to good, real quick, and everything in between. It, it, and it's happening right now. So it's actually I'm actually roasting out here. But can't be fooled. It, it is going to turn again. We know that. So oh yeah. Oh my goodness. What do you think of all this, Sean? Crazy, crazy. <laughs> you know, we just don't get this in our everyday lives. Like this is crazy. Yep. I love it now. I'll see if we love it in five minutes. <laughs> well, it might be less than five because she's kicking up quick, bud. <laughs> this is what we do for fun. We love this. Sean just chuckles over there. <laughs> it's, uh... It's a little dark. There's a little um, 
Full storm brewing up. You can see the rain coming down over there, the walls of rain. My chili. I still gotta eat my chili. I wolf that thing down, man. I've never experienced any kind of storm like this. Oh, it's coming in. A tree fall over. We're trying to get out of the way of anything that's gonna fall right now. Oh man. It's not as big. <laughs> it's still do some damage. Yeah. We didn't have an option. We had to set up where we did. There's random, like two or three trees around that might go. We literally watched a tree fall two seconds ago. Still gotta eat. Super hungry. <laughs> what an experience. Honestly, what an experience, really. I'm glad I'm not alone. crazy. Chili's really good though. Hitting the spot. I've been saving the chili. This seems like a, a suitable occasion. <laughs> like look at me. Look at around me. There's no, this is burn. It's just all the fresh green growth because of all the burn. And then you got these light, then you got these lightning rods. That's the scary one. And that's the scary one. We're not we're not directly under them by any means, but who knows what way they're going to fall and if they're going to fall. But the fact that we just saw one fall really puts it in perspective. There he is. He's okay. He didn't get crushed. Got trail mix and rescued it. Sean's playing vegan tonight. We don't hide from storms. What do we do in storms? We fish, we eat chili. <laughs> we run through the trees with our cameras. Two rainbows in one trip. When does that happen? Wow. It's separate double rainbows. Yeah, let's not talk about rainbows in video. <laughs> we should say the word rainbow one more time. Rainbow. Rainbow. Yeah. Not the trout. Skinny dipping in rainbows. Not the trout either. <laughs> Well guys, this is the calm after the storm, maybe between storms, yeah. but uh, everything's good right now. It's all died down, the rain stopped, and it's a beauty night. We're, um, it's hard to describe the mix of emotions and um, just stuff we went through today. I thought today was going to be one of the most boring days. Then we get here and all this stuff's happening, I'm racing to get to camp, I'm so I felt 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 a sense of urgency big time to get here. Um, and now we're here, dealt with all that, and now we get to just sit out and watch the sunset. It's um it's unbelievable really. Yeah it is. I mean that it's also the Blood Vein River, Canadian Heritage River, right? So here we are. We're actually camped on it, which we did not intend. So to be sitting here and have gone through something so so epic. It's so fitting. Like I, I just, I'm in awe. The mosquitoes came out too. <laughs> yeah. I'm bored. Where did that bug spray go? There we go. Get the deed all up. Oh, you guys, honestly, no joke. You gotta come here. Like, if you're into canoeing, if you're into this stuff, this is this place is not like any other place I've ever been. I know I've said it, that probably sounds like a broken record, but it's true. It's the truth. Well, it's about 10:30 now. We're just sitting here, no fire. We just saw the biggest bat fly by. I've never seen a bat so big. Very cool, completely silent, flying up and down like a bat does, really cool. Um, yeah, no fire and the bugs are out. Bugs are in full force, the mosquitoes are bad. You can see how much light there's left, still at 10.30. But the clouds are very menacing. Probably get some rain in the morning, tonight, maybe tomorrow. But 
I think I'm gonna head to bed. We got a, uh, we changed up our road again. Made a couple little decisions to try to end up on a lake trout lake at the end of the trip. So we're far away from a lake trout lake now. It'd be nice to end the trip on a lake trout lake on a nice site, catching lakers. So yeah, excited for tomorrow. I think we're gonna get up early tomorrow, go fish and get on our way. We slept in today. That uh, that wind really kept us down, but time to go in my tent, blow up my sleeping pad, <laughs> and try not to roll downhill. <laughs> I gotta prop myself up. I'm on like a on a 45 kind of thing. <laughs> Wish me luck. See you guys in the morning. Oh, good morning. It's not very sunny outside. <laughs> Looks like we might get some rain and stuff. So I think it's up and out of here. The site isn't very um, hospitable. <laughs> Oatmeal it is this morning. Day five, just making up some breakfast. Got some sage tea going. We got some oatmeal already made up. In the Bush Buddy Twig Stove. So we woke up to a another cloudy, rainy day. Hasn't started raining yet, but <laughs> tell them looking by the clouds, it seems like it will. But it's not such a big deal. I don't feel so. Um, worried about it it's just another thing that's gonna happen so looking forward to today take it easy today we've been camping on big lakes pretty much the whole trip so tomorrow or tonight sorry our route takes us along some smaller lakes some more intimate lakes hopefully the fishing will be all right on them but if not we're going to be ending up on some real good trout lakes. And that's where our road's taking us, so everything's good. Just going with the flow of things now. Really, really, really feeling part of this place now. It's, uh, yeah, it's a good feeling. We've got three more days. It's hard to believe that it's going by this quick. It's hard to believe we're past the, the middle part of the trip. I have I have mixed feelings about it. This is the kind of place that you could spend two weeks at. Just going at your own pace. You don't have to travel every day. You don't even have to go far or anywhere every day. If you find a hot fishing spot, you can hole up. That's what's really... Uh, appealing about this place to me but yeah having a great time this oatmeal is going down like a champ too <laughs> threw a couple m m peanuts in there you know joe it up a little bit but joe it up yeah probably gonna get going pretty soon just eat oatmeal and pack up and leave Sean was saying we're going to troll up and down 
the lake here on our destination uh, on their way to our destination for today so yep we've seen a handful of eagles man there's another one right there not too much wildlife yesterday but yeah it was uh it was the least productive fishing day as well but that's okay we will we will catch more fish Almost finished packing up camp. The rain's starting to come down, so big camera's going away at least for a little while. I'll catch you guys on the GoPro on the water. That was one of the coolest camping spots I've ever been at. I don't want to call it a campsite, but it's a little far fetched, but uh, just epic. I imagine that's not going to happen too many more times. So off we go, trolling down the lake. Let me grab a couple walleye, have some shore lunch, see how she goes. Clouds are looking ominous at best. Another good day in the woodland caribou. In the woodland caribou. We gotta go right into the wind and waves today. So a shore lunch would be great. A uh, fish lunch for fish lunch for lunch on shore, aka shore lunch. I'm really glad I didn't keep that big walleye last night after catching it. By the time we got to camp, there was no way we were having a fire or anything like that. It would have just went to waste. So Sean didn't even eat supper. He just had some trail mix. I very quickly boiled up some water and rehydrated my, my chili and wolfed that down. Yeah, so, anyways, it was a good call. I made the right decision. <laughs> I'm keeping it. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to some more fish in my belly. It's been two days now that I haven't eaten fish, so. Regardless of what I catch, if I catch anything today, I'm eating it. Well, we hit a little low spot here. Um, we came to our portage, we paddled against the wind, strong wind, for at least two hours to get to here, on uh, the same lake we camped at. And this is supposed to be our portage, but it's been a burn, a burned in 2011. And there's no, it's all just growth, and no, no, uh, no portage really. Um, it's like, literally stuff like this, all grown up. There's no trail at all. We tried to put, we pushed, in there quite a ways without any of our gear and it's hard hard walking without gear so the idea of doing a 575 meter portage um, triple carrying or double carrying however much ever it is uh, it, through all that stuff is very daunting uh, it doesn't seem like we can do it and then after it's it's a succession of small small lakes and, and big portages that way bigger portages um, and we don't know regardless of we don't know if it's going to be the same, you know what I mean, the whole t the whole way. And if it is b burned in, in regrowth, in six years regrowth, it's going to take us days, literally two, three days to get down somewhere where it should take us a day. Uh, and these are our last days here, so we don't want to do that. But we're also stuck. Our options are paddling backwards, back where we came, or switching up our route and going into the biggest lake in the park against the wind. And um, it's just all... Uh, very daunting. So we're we're on the sat phone right now. We got a sat phone just in case, and we're gonna call up the uh, Harlan from Red Lake Outfitters and figure out what we should do. Um, find out whether or not it's it's worth it to, to do these portages or not. We gotta wait to talk to him on the sat. Can't get through right now. Cloud cover. Um, so we're standing here getting chilled with the rain. We're gonna start a fire on the beach here. Don't really have any more options.
it's an adventure. That's for sure. Oh man. So un so just unexpected and unplanned. It's uh <laughs> all part of it. All part of it. At least we got a good fire going. Right on the beach, right by the water, it's all super wet. I'm not I'm not concerned about having a fire here at all. So we're gonna man up and we're just gonna bust through. We're going to uh we're gonna do this portage. There's no way we're going backtracking. It's just the 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 better option of the two. And just eat up some food, dry up a little bit, and start hauling butt right through the woods. I needed that wet butt. Nobody likes a wet butt. Feet are feeling a little funky, man. Soaking wet, soaking neoprene. Oh, I stink. I stink. My, my neoprene, I can't even put them in my tent with me. They have to, they have to stay far away. I stink bad enough. So. Oh, man. Real talk. I was wrong in my assumption of woodland caribou. It's not flat. You hear it's boreal, and you think of like a spruce swamp, boggy kind of stuff. I look it all around. We're going quite, we're going uphill quite a bit right now. There's deciduous trees like willow, birch, aspen. Seen some mountain maple. Lots more variety than, than I had assumed. See the ground is all scorched. Burned trees everywhere. Roses popping up. Very, very lush here. And that's because of the burn. Like I said, that was six years ago now. You can see everything's starting to come back. Then the animals come to feed on this. And then the animals that eat the animals that feed on this, follow them here. It's a circle of life. And it moves us. All right, I'm done. I think we're off trail, but it's better than actual trail walking. So we're kind of making our own way and getting up to where we need to be. This is a 575 meter portage, but who knows? That's the portage. This, this might be longer, hopefully shorter. <laughs> we'll see. Careful, it's bendy. Almost done that portage, and I'd like to be excited about seeing the lake in front of me. But let me show you what I see. Windy, rainy lake right in our face. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. This is not a pleasant day. We were hoping to wake up to calm weather. It's a little bit opposite of that. This is all burn. We are surrounded by burn here. Complete 360. With the uh, with the 
gray cloudy day it just seems fitting see him behind me really soon. Still all burns. We've been through like three or four lakes and it's still all burnt. We're trying to get out of it so we can camp. But I don't know, man. I'm not sure that we'll be able to. We've got another uh, couple lakes to go and then make a decision whether or not we stay on our route for tonight. We'll still do the same route, but we might go off our route just to find a decent campsite for tonight. We should, we should see. Oh, big nose drips. It's not that cold, but the combination of wind and rain, I literally was borderline hypothermic. I don't know how to do this crazy, but these portages are insane. These, these burn portages, it's all just blow down. No, there's no, you can't, you can't tell where the trail is. So anyways, I had to do that one, a 550 or something like that, 525. To actually warm myself up, I was, I was like almost trying to run it, going as fast as I can, lifting my legs as, as high as I could, and I warmed right up. So I don't, I'm not shivering anymore, which is fantastic. Uh, the rain has stopped for now; it's on and off all day, but um, that helps too. So, and the wind, right in this lake here, the wind isn't so bad. So, like I said, I'm gonna dry out and find a place to camp. And here comes the wind. <laughs> Alright, well we made it to what we're calling camp. It's just one unburned island amidst all the burn. This is the most level ground we can find and it's uh, almost 6 o'clock at night. Wind's kicking up again as it's been all day. So we're bush camping today. Luckily there's all this nice lichen and moss on the ground. Level it out a little bit. And it'll be more level ground than last night. A little bit more area too. But this this island is tiny. Like I'm here, Sean's in the only other flat-ish spot. Rain's coming down pretty good now actually. Yeah. I gotta put the camera away again. Sorry guys.
go find Sean. See what he's doing. See where his mansion is. It's thick back in here, man. Very thick. Buggy. How you feeling? Excellent. I'm worn out. <laughs> Excellent. I actually like bent over and I could taste like um, dehydrated spaghetti, which I haven't eaten all week and I'm just, like craving it so badly. That's how bad it is. You got a nice view? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, we're wiped out today. On the search for a spot to have a fire, make a little fire pit, cook up our, our suppers. Um, there's not very many places on this island. <laughs> this island's like 50, 50 square feet. Oh, this, yeah, I think over here is good, man. Yep. Yeah, perfect, actually. So this is what we're looking for. No, yeah, you can put your canoe over here for sure. Yep. Explode. Things are looking up. <laughs> we won. <laughs> the gambling man. <laughs> um, yeah, this is what we're looking for. Just a bare rock, so no uh, no chance of fire. And obviously, we can't have it in that deep woods. But here, it's actually really it's actually really protected from the wind here. Yeah. So no wind. Or little wind. Yeah, this is this is perfect. This is our hangout spot for tonight for sure. Is this where I should cut it or up there? Yeah, a little longer. Like longer. Oh, this guy. Just doing dehydrated meals tonight. The uh, both really exhausted. <clears throat> Been going all day. Just getting smoked out right now. Holy. Um, yeah, just tired. Today was probably the least productive day, and the most tiring. We, uh, you saw those portages we did. It just uh, took a lot out of us. But see, oh, everything seems to get better, and uh, everything will be better. And, Everything will be good tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna get back onto some more normal lakes. We're really remote right now, like super remote. There's nobody comes down in here. Um, all this burn. We're literally a, a one little tiny island that doesn't hasn't been burned. It's just on the map, like we're in the dead center of the burn. Really? Uh, yeah. So I still haven't seen anybody, and uh, I imagine we won't. But yeah, dehydrated food for tonight. Probably an early bedtime. We got to put some miles in tomorrow. We, we decided uh, we finally actually do have to put some miles in, so that'll be it tomorrow. Uh, be a moving day, so that we can end up where we want to end up to, uh, for our takeout point for our, the plane to pick us up. Yeah, the one thing Harlan said too is that we do have to be on a big lake to get picked up. Yeah, so we will have to hit that at least that one we're headed for. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> well, I feel so much better now after eating. It's actually stopped raining. Still, uh, still dark over there, but it's not looking so bad where we are right now. We got a nice big fire in front of us, drying everything out. Shoes are steaming. Got a cup of tea on. Everything's right in the world. My hands are jacked up. I got like slices everywhere. They're all infected. Look at this is a black fly bite. One black fly bite did that to me. But yeah, just completely infected and cut all up from the fish. Portaging fishing line, all sorts of stuff. No soft hands for Joe no more. That fire keeps getting me. She's a toasty one. Everything's drying out now. It's good. I didn't think this was going to happen tonight at all. Seems like every night's been good. Every night's okay. You know what I mean? The days are, uh, the first few days were awesome. But these past uh, two or three days, have been a little bit 
a little bit challenging and dragging on and kind of stuff. <clears throat> but you get to camp, everything clears up, and uh, yeah, it's nice. It's good. I really hope tomorrow is a calm day. I would like. I don't even mind wind. I don't even. I don't even mind rain, but it's been so windy, so super windy. It's just altered our our course completely, and then made us fall behind more and more. We, we were saying today we we got up and paddled two hours into a strong, strong, strong headwind. So imagine going to the gym. We were just talking about this. You get you go to the gym. And you, and you just do two hours of super strong rowing. Then after that, like that's exhausting in itself. Then after that, you do like a stairmaster with something on your back, and keep taking that thing on your on your back, off your back, on your back, off your back, on your back, off your back. Off your back. Couple that with extreme wind and rain, borderline hypothermic, su super hungry, not enough calories. <laughs> Oh man. <clears throat> yeah, it's a workout. You guys want to lose weight? Go do the portage challenge. The old portage challenge. <laughs> oh, I love it. Do it again. I will do it again. Looking forward for tomorrow. We got tonight and two more nights. So two full more days. And then the eighth day, we have like half a day or something like that before we get picked up. We have to make it to a big lake so that the um, the plane can get us, like Sean was saying. So we do have to have a destination. I think if I did this trip again, we're <clears throat> I'd focus on some really good fishing lakes, walleye, lake trout, and stick around that area instead of trying to travel distance, which is not necessary really if your main focus is fishing and stuff. I'm definitely coming back here. This place is this place is the nicest place I've ever been. For sure. It's wild. It's actually wild. It feels remote now. We were saying we didn't know how remote we felt for the past couple of days, but we feel remote. That we're up here, man. We're up far north. Far, far north. Like what, sixteen? Six hours to Thunder Bay. Something like that driving. North of that, six hours north of Thunder Bay. No bugs. I'm sitting here in a t-shirt. No bugs at all. Loving that. The rain has stopped. Everything's good. Maybe time for a little drinky poo. I have a bandy. What do you think? We wanted to bring some. Nifty camp stuff uh, on this trip. I got this reflector oven. Why don't you why don't you model the reflector oven? Oh, look at the vanna. Look at the vanna. <laughs> from uh, Canadian Outdoor Equipment. It's called a Swante Frieden. It's from a what? Swante Frieden. <laughs> it's from uh, Switzerland, maybe Finland. Sweden. 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 That's what I said. Sweden the first time. Swante Frieden's fire oh. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, but it's a reflector oven, and you may have seen this before, or maybe in Doug's video or my previous video with Doug last year. We went to the French River. Uh, we're gonna bake a cake. Actually muffins, but we're gonna make it like a cake. So we got a, a chocolate chip muffin mix. It takes a half a cup of water. All you do is mix half a cup of water with this with this mix. We're going to put it in my heavy cover can, uh, no, not canteen, heavy cover frying pan. Put it in there, it's got a little grill, and it's a reflector oven, it bakes it. So, like 20 minutes in there next to the fire, we're gonna have this awesome chocolate chip muffin cake. Muffin cake. Get some screech to wash it down. Some screech to wash it down, exactly. So we're gonna lard up the, the pan first. You can't have enough lard in your life. <laughs> the titanium does tend to stick if you don't really grease it up, so that's what we'll do. And uh, yeah, hopefully it turns out all right. I'm excited to use this. I've never used it, one before. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll take out the leaf matter. Okay.
don't do stuff like this normally on trips, but wanted to have a very campy experience. What's more campy than, than making chocolate chip muffin cake on the fire? <laughs> Well, that's gonna be thin. It's gonna be thin. Oh, it's not very much, is it? No. I wonder, should we put it in this pan or is it too late? Uh, it might be too late, but let's see. Oh, yeah, lick, Sean, the, oh. lick the pan. Look at the pan. <laughs> All right, my pan was too wide, obviously, so we're gonna use Sean. Poured the lard in, and Sean ruined it by melting the chopsticks <laughs> over the fire. <laughs> I told him not to. <laughs> yep, pretty sure that's the way it happened. <laughs> that's exactly how it happened. <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. Hey, little Joey, you can lick Oh, the look it! Thanks, <laughs> bud! Green meat. <laughs> green meat? Okay. There's nothing wrong with green lunch meat, okay? It will last. Alright, you guys can see that reflection already in the reflector oven. That's why it's called that. It's called that, yeah, it's because of that. Is it a little toasty? Yeah, Sin singe your little hand hairs <laughs> off. <laughs> All right, so that'll probably be like uh, 20 minutes, maybe? No idea. No, I'm telling you, I wasn't oh, asking Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anybody want to answer that? Let me know in the comments <laughs> if it'll be 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we should pour a little screech in there, maybe. No, screechy. but I can put like no? two chocolate m and peanuts. I can, I can... Oh, big time. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty special. Maybe even four. I'll four. Put, I'll waste four, and that will be a waste, but I'll, I'll sacrifice four. I don't know why that's on an angle. I'm gonna try propping it. Here. I don't know if that's too big. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Lovely. Mm. You can see it rose up quite a bit. We're gonna just stick some. Oh, it's soft. Soft as the Dickens. We're gonna stick some M&M &M peanuts in that piece. A la Doug. Well, I hope the viewers have been keeping track of the time because we sure haven't. Yeah, how good. long has it been, viewers? 20 minutes? Oh, look at that one. Watch this. Oh, piss. I got Eminem blocked. <laughs> oh, no. You knew that was Is that on it. fire? Is I that on fire? that was fire? going bad. Yeah, everything I do goes bad. Trip it all over the place now. Mm. Smoky. Oh, I didn't you know what happened. The back has to be elevated. Oh. It's elevated. We're at a level here. I think maybe, yeah, elevate it more. What's I'm happening, so guys? So Help us. That I'm Help oh. us. Yeah, she's up in the back. We're like needing the calories. <laughs> yeah, we can't waste this one. I'm excited for this. I'm excited. What do you think, Sean? How much longer? <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you again in 40 minutes. <laughs> All right, well, maybe it might have taken a little bit longer than 20 minutes, but she's done. So we're going to divvy this bad boy up and uh, have some dessert. <laughs> we'll get it one of these days. <laughs> it's a delicate operation. I can't see it going well. <laughs> Don't take all the m and peanuts, bro. <laughs> I get the blue one. Oh, oh nice. Look at that consistency. That is nice. Look at yeah, that. It's cooked. <laughs> Sounds surprised. <laughs> You can go wrong with a water-only recipe from a package that's expired two years ago from Walmart to begin with. It was Dollar Store? No, Dollar Store. Yeah, get it right. So I do all my organic food shopping. Mmm. <laughs> that's all right. Mm-hmm. I like it. Bam, son. It's a little alcoholish, like it fermented. Like you poured screech on it? No, that's possible. <laughs> this is my screech cup. <laughs> Mm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Do that so, more often. Once again, this is from Canadian Outdoor Equipment. It folds down flat. It's called Svante Freedom from Sweden. Svante Sweden. Oh, you're going to get the extras? Oh, yeah. Nice. This is pretty cool. I, In all honesty, I won't bring this on any trip, on every trip, but for something like this, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. It's a little, little fancy dessert kind of thing. Yeah, impress people. Or if you just want to eat good. I hope to do a lake trout in there, like a broiler. I still have like a quarter of a, an actual lemon. Actual lemon, not a fake one. <laughs> and Sean's got some salt and pepper and stuff. So if we hook into a walleye or a lake trout on the rest of the trip, I really want to do it in there. My favorite way to cook fish at home is broiling it. I usually buy 
trout and broil it under the under the broiler, as it were. But uh, yeah, so hopefully that happens. I would really like to see that happen. It will happen. Sean James said so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know we said we were gonna go to bed early, but it's after 11. It seems like every night it's not till 11 or 12 we go to bed. It's crazy how your mood can change after you get to camp. We got everything set up and uh, everything's good. We sat by the fire all night talking. I had a really great night actually. Made that bre made that uh, dessert. So. I'm excited for tomorrow. I think tomorrow's gonna be calm. It ended up being a calm night after, um, right around like nine or ten, it turned calm. So, hoping for a calm day tomorrow. Lots of mileage and uh, some good scenery. I feel very blessed to be on this trip. Good company in a good place, and uh, very very good trip so far. The only thing that could make this any better is some lake trout at the end, and that's gonna happen. So you guys have a good night, and I'll get back with you in the morning. And, yeah, we'll have some more fun. Good night, sweet dreams. I'll see you in the morning. I may have had a couple adult beverages. Six o'clock in the morning. Look at my face. It's all swollen. My hands are, too. Uh, it rained all night, and uh, this morning it's windy, and... There is blue in the sky. That's a good thing. So, gotta get up. Gotta get up and at them. Up and at them. Gonna make some breakfast and get on out of here. We gotta put some miles down today for sure. Here we go. Oh, oh, the bones and the joints. They're sore. I left my chair out last night. I haven't done that at all lately, or this trip. And look. She's all wet. I got a wet chair. I don't want to be wet anymore. I don't want a wet butt. <sighs> well, this is almost the same sky we went to bed with. It's a little disappointing. I thought, uh, I thought we'd be in for a better, calmer day today. But there is a little bit of light in the sky, so. Not so bad, I guess. Hurt your fingers. Just getting ready to take off. She's raining again, big time. I gotta put the big camera away. I really didn't want to do that today. Got a lot of GoPro footage yesterday, but um, I obviously can't leave it out in the rain, so it's going away, and as soon as I can take it out, I will. Hopefully that's later on today um, while we're moving. Time to try with the pike. You love it? I love it. It's very smoky. It's very good. All right, pike over the fire. Mm. That's good. Nice. Next up, lake trout. This is a great little break we took. Needed to warm up and just relax. We're almost at our destination anyway. It's like two or three o'clock, so everything's good. We'll get to where we want to be, end up on the lake we want to end up, and have a short lunch. What? 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 Cooking pike up on the rock. Every camp trip we have a, or I have a, a song in my head. And <laughs> the first day we were here, we were fishing off the dock with uh, Harlan in, in Red Lake, uh, the town. And like, was it yesterday or the day before? So like five days had passed. Our Sean goes to me, you know what song I got in my head? That Kid Rock. And I'm like, no way. Because <laughs> that catching walleye off the dock, watching blah, 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 blah. You know, when he's singing Sweet Home Alabama all summer long, that one. We can't, I can't hold the tune, but, um, so we hadn't heard the song, but we 
both had it in our heads from just doing <laughs> the fishing. Catch them while we're off the dock. Exactly. Makes sense, right? So now we're just cooking pike up on the rock. You have to be here. Oh yeah. You have to We've be got here. all kinds. <laughs> Stay tuned. Watch. Listen. Listen. To all the uh, Kid Rock or Kid Rock uh, wines have been coming out of us all week. And they're never in, in, in oh, succession. No. They're just like random, like bits and pieces. I don't even think the sentence is right. <laughs> it's the one phrase is wrong. <laughs> but we get the point. Oh, we get the point. Yes. Yeah. We crack each other. We crack ourselves. <laughs> okay. I got this. Uh, I've been saving this. I've been meaning to put it on film. Uh, I don't need. I don't need Sean's face in there for this. I've been meaning to put this on film. And I have, I've just been busy every day when I'm eating it. I've been starving, I've been paddling, so. Thank you very, Mel thank you very Malcolm much for sending me this Romney's Kendall Mint Cake. If you guys haven't ha had any of these, you gotta try them. I believe they're from the UK. It, was, it came, went up with the first Everest expedition or whatever. Um, somebody else sent me them and I have a tin of them at home and I, I appreciate it, thank you very much. I just didn't bring them, I brought this one because I had one, I never tried it before, I didn't know if I was gonna like it. I'm absolutely in love with this. Ken Romney's Kendall Mint Cake. Sean's been begging me for it the whole time. I keep telling him no. I got this one little oh piece. God. I've been savoring it. Oh, I can't believe you. <laughs> so nice of you to give me that. <laughs> it's so good. Guys, honestly, it's like the ingredients. Sugar, glucose, syrup, <laughs> water, peppermint flavor. You can't go wrong. Thanks, Malcolm. The ever handy floss stick gets the pike out of your teeth where you just can't reach. I think we're done. I'm gonna uh, pack up here, kick this fire into the water, and head on down to our final destination spot for today. It's starting to rain again, so I'm putting the camera away. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Well, we made it to an actual site. I'm, I'm camped back in the woods here a bit. Sean's over um, on the edge near the water. Let me show you my. I set up my digs, so got uh, my stuff drying up a little bit there, my pants, got my big Agnes tent, and some lichen, my backpack, my axe, it's all nice soft mossy lichen area, it's actually pretty flat and pretty big, so I'm happy with this, let's go see what Sean's up to, it's after 7, it's probably 7.30, been going since around 8 so almost a 12 hour day today we haven't seen any other canoeists this whole trip it's pretty cool we've heard float planes and seen float planes that's about it some helicopters too actually today i'm beat man i'm wiped right out surprise you caught me <laughs> so you're set up here by the water and your boat it's nice very nice I'm way in the woods with the bears. Yeah, I know. It's a bear path. <laughs> it is a bear path for sure. <laughs> I totally. I peed, I peed all over it, so it's fine. Because bears are afraid of pee. Mine. Yeah, well, I would be. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is really resinous, uh, lots of pine resin in it, so it goes up real quick. And real hot, burns real hot. Tonight's supper is Uncle Ben's rice with, wait for it, wait for it, one pepperoni cut up into bite-sized manageable pieces and the piece of the resistance a baby bell covered in dirt from my hands <laughs> ba bam gourmet guarantee nobody else is eating this tonight in the world in the whole world oh my concoction is going down well cheers guys Today was a, is the most exhausted I've been on this trip. Like I said, almost a 12 hour day. But uh, we put our work in today for sure to get here. So it's worth it. I'm gonna go fishing after supper. 
It's 8.45 already. Like, yeah, 8.45. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So the wind's actually kicking up a little bit, but there's some blue sky. We haven't seen that in days. So we have to still talk to Harlan and see what's up about the weather. Just charging the sat phone right now. I hope we can stay. I don't want to go yet. We haven't done everything we wanted to do. We haven't caught a lake trout. So, you know, I'm not even sure if this is a lake trout lake we're on. It's big enough and deep enough that it could be. But if not, oh, there's a reason to come back. <laughs> Part two, in search of the Lakers. Return to Woodland Caribou. This is a real deal trip, man. Trip like a bucket list trip. Always wanted to do a fly-in trip. This is as far north in Ontario as, as I've been. We're actually in a different time zone. It's crazy. Fly in, fly out. Slay the fish. We slayed the fish the first few days. And still I've caught a fish every day. Yesterday was one or two. Two small pike. The day before was one big walleye. Today was one pike. But all the rest of the days didn't count. Honestly, we didn't count them because it was just one after the other. We got a couple double headers. Catching walleye off the dock. Hey, Harlan. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so we're still on for uh, Sunday at 10, right? Okay, perfect. All right, well, we'll call you tomorrow night for uh, an update just to confirm the plans. And we'll keep each other warm tonight. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> He said keep each other warm too. Oh, how nice of her. Yeah. So, weather has changed. It looks like we're going to have this. Maybe some break ups and uh, sunny, well, not sunny periods, but uh, breaks in the clouds. So, that stands for tomorrow and for Sunday, which means Sunday pickup time. My plane's going to work. So we get to work. stay. We get to stay. Nice. Yeah. Do you say anything about lake trout? Yeah, lake trout and pike in here. Go fish. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, you heard him. That's awesome. We get to stay for our final uh, plans. And there's lake trout and pike in this lake that we're on right now. So we're going. It's it's nighttime. It's getting dark, but we still got probably a couple hours of residual light. <sighs> and I, uh, I'm running. I'm running to go fishing. I want to catch a leaker. Gonna make her a leaker, bud. Hey, make her a leaker, bud. What's that? You wanna stay somewhere together? Okay, where are you going? Well, that's an island. You wanna throw around that? Okay. See me trolling. He's never gonna get old. Never gonna get old. Chameleon air. Chameleon air. Cause he's like a chameleon and a millionaire. You got chameleon air. Playing words, you know. You know about chameleon air? <laughs> it's too old. Feisty. Yeah. The other one actually flew out of the water, like out, not just like lifting it out of the water. What do you got on? It's a little uh, perch with a A floater? Uh, it's a, like an X-wrap, so it's suspending with rod. Oh. oh man, he's feisty. Oh, he soaks me. <laughs> Decent little pikey. Back he goes. Now, if he was a lake trout, I think we would have had a midnight snack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got soaked from that, dude. I think that's it for fishing. It's getting quite dark. Sean got a couple pike on. I got that one. So, almost a success. 
Do you want to sit by the fire? You want to sit by the fire for a while? Yeah. Alright, sit by the fire for a while before we go to bed. Stoke it up. Bugs are just non-existent, which is unbelievable. So it's not, not a bad call sitting by the fire at night. That shore lunch was really cool. That was really cool, yeah. Again, I forgot we did that. Yeah. It, it, it's easy to forget when we do things because there's so many things happening all the time. Traveled through some, it was actually, it was, what was cool about it, we started off in forest fire burn areas for what, three or two hours of leaving that? And this was our third day in it. Mm hmm. And then just halfway across that one lake, eh? Just switch? Yeah. Yep. I happened to have my camera on. I was talking. I looked and it's like, here's a line, like literally halfway across the lake. It's burning. And then, yeah, and it wasn't like lake to lake. Mm -hmm. the same lake. Yeah. yeah. So they must have water bombed it, I would imagine. Or just high winds pushed it through there. The, uh, but yeah, I thought that was cool. And then those were beautiful lakes following that. Yeah, some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff today. Yeah, it's kind of surreal paddling through a nice landscape like that with the mist, you know, the rain actually didn't really take away from it too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mist turned to rain quite often and then off. Yeah. But it's good. It never really it was never really solid rain. Like um, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Could have been rain all day, completely hard rain. It would and every day it's been mist, rain off. Well, that, the challenge of, we talked about that, staying dry, and it's like I wasn't wearing rain pants today, and I don't know if it mattered, because when I was, I was just as wet, just from sweat and water dripping down and everything else, so right. it's just a matter of having that, that was what was so nice about pulling over and having that short lens, just drying out fully. I know, personally, I get super cold really quick, I have like no meat on my bones, so I had my long johns, my normal canoe pants, same ones you have, and then my, my rain pants on, and I know, because yesterday I didn't have my long johns on, and I got shivery, like super cold, cold yesterday, mm -hmm. like borderline, um, but today was a lot better, so I know that I have to do that, and then the long johns get wet, and they stay wet, but they still keep me warmer, um, but the downside is then I have to dry the long johns, and they don't dry as easily as the nylon pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these nylon pants dry super fast. Body heaters. Yeah, exactly. Exertion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're sitting down too, right? So you're you don't get like, like I'm up and down. I change uh, positions when I'm canoeing, and so from kneeling to sitting to mm -hmm. leaning. So I'm always uh, moving my legs too. Yeah, no, it, my feet get really cold because of that. Mm -hmm. I I can move the pedals and or, or I, sometimes I cross my legs to be honest, but then I have oh, yeah. to use all my just my <laughs> yeah. arms. Yeah. Well, like that's what you're doing, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad when I'm kneeling, though. I stick my kneels into the sides of the boat, so that gives me that, that uh, whatever, leverage. Yeah, no, it was a great day. And look at the end. It literally, like, I can't believe every campsite's been like this with no rain while we're sitting around <laughs> the fire. Yeah, we haven't even had to set up the tarp at all. We set it up one night and didn't sit under it. Um, rain and wind all day long and then every single night it's just mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. and, and relatively bug free almost completely bug free i don't hear a, i don't hear no. a mosquito right now it's so bizarre thing i just can't even who would have thought the canadian north boreal forest don't bother with your bugs right i brought Didn't a bug you? i brought a bug jacket i bought <laughs> benadryl i brought um bug spray <laughs> i've got Four different kinds of bug spray <laughs> scattered everywhere throughout my gear. I have a head net in my tour bag for a, like emergency craft. Yeah, I got one in my pocket for the first few days. The little, so, the little yeah, one. Yeah. And then a bug, full bug jacket. And then I almost brought my, my, uh, what's it, the original bug shirt as well that you just brought. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, unbelievable. So we went through some crazy portages today, like. Um, super old growth jack pine with like big thick yellow moss and lichen everywhere we think we saw baby caribou droppings mm -hmm. yeah I'm, I'm like 90 percent sure that's what it was so that'd be really cool to see one um very elusive i would imagine though mm -hmm. 
Well, I think there's 500 apparently in the whole park, and they're, they don't have to stick to the waterways that we have to stick to. Right. 500 people come to the park the whole year, and we haven't seen a single person in the waterway. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. Wild place. Woodland caribou. All right, guys. That's it for tonight. Uh, it turned out to be a really nice night again. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. Tomorrow we're going to go over one lake and fish for lake trout. Have a good night. See you in the morning. Good morning. Oh, day seven. Day seven is here. Got very, very wet shoes and it's a chilly morning. Probably the chilliest it's been so far. Oh, yeah. There she is. So today is our last full day. We get picked up tomorrow around noon. It's like six in the morning. So I think I'm gonna get up and try to fish a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe go sit by the fire. It is cold, but we'll see. I wanna get up and eat some breakfast first to make my decision. Hear the birds. What a good morning. Okay, I'm gonna get this fire kicking. Seriously? Oh snap! Oh, lake nice. trout. On the board with the Lakers. Look at that. Turn it sideways. The way it was fighting, I thought, yeah, that's tall. Dude, that's beauty. That's a nice lake trout to start. What'd you catch on that cyclops? Yep. That's a big fish. Yeah. Okay, I'm switching to a spoon. Screw this wrap. Yeah. Screw this stick bait nonsense. Going back to the old Len Thompson, I think. Catch a monster. Oh man. That guy's big. Is that decent size for a Laker or how? I'm a, I'm a Lake Trout virgin. Alright, Len Thompson. When all else fails. Oh, buddy! Oh, I'm excited! I was just telling Sean how angry I was. Oh, I think it's the same. It's a Laker. It's a Laker. It's a Laker. I made her a Laker. Oh, in the boat! Oh, in the boat! Oh! I'm so excited right now! Oh my goodness! I made her a Laker! I'm so... I'm so happy! Back to back lake trout, boy! You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Ah, I'm not! Ah! Yeah, oh, I don't care. Not at all. 
Okay, we got him. You guys ready for this? Oh, I'm so stoked. First, this is a first. This is by far my favorite fish I've ever caught right here. Shut up. <laughs> oh, buddy. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm yeah, stoked, man. Ready. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna eat this guy for sure. Oh, we got each a trout each. I can't believe it. A trout each <laughs> for dinner for lunch. Okay, I need you to give me a bunch of pictures. Oh man, look at this guy. I'm super stoked right now. Look at them together. Look at those peaks. <laughs> look at that. Look at them trouts. Yours is a bit bigger. Of course. Of course he says. But same spot, like schooling up. There's probably a couple more there. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Can look we get at the meal. Look, look at that. One each. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in my broiler. Yeah. Yeah, at least half of it and then half maybe just, I don't know, eat it raw. Pretty well the same. Yours is darker, but uh, yeah, you might uh, stuff this one. I'm so, so happy. So happy. We're gonna try for a couple more. Look at the teeth on this mug. Nummy, nummy, num, num, num. Trip of a lifetime. Woodland caribou. What? Can you tell I'm happy? <laughs> Exuberant, even. So, biggest. I had another one. Biggest pike of the trip. Biggest pike I ever caught. Biggest walleye I ever caught. And only lake trout I ever caught. But this guy, man, this guy takes the cake. Legit. Legit. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, he's a fighter! He's a fighter! Bam, son! In the boat! In the boat! In the boat! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, man. I don't know what to say. We eating good today, boy. Oh, you're not getting it. Nope, 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 stop it. Sean's got one on too. A oh, pike? Just, just a pike. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been real happy with that last night. Oh, man. I can't wait to show Clint. He's going to be pumped. Clint's the, Clint's the trout dude, for sure. Oh, man. These are some pretty fish. Real pretty. I'm going to show you again. Just one more time. Just one more time. You got to hold them far out so they look monsters. Ah. These guys are both dispatched already. And we are... Uh, we're going to eat these for sure. 100% going to eat all this fish. So happy. If you guys know me, you'll understand. So we haven't really been on we haven't really been on any lake trout lakes uh, prior to this. Uh, th this is the culmination of the trip getting down to these lakes where the lake trout are, and this is the first one. We have to still portage into the second one where we uh, where we're gonna camp for tonight. But man, this is on the way there, and I grabbed these two. Like, <laughs> so stoked right now, just unbelievable. Ah, very happy. Very hungry too. I'm gonna eat, eat both of these guys. Have one for lunch and one for dinner. 
I didn't want to eat rice again. I didn't want to eat rice again for dinner, you know? Running out of food. <laughs> Boy. Alright, last portage of the trip. Heading into Royd Lake, which is our pickup lake. Plane's gonna come get us tomorrow. Off to find a campsite. Cook up these trout. Cook up these lake trout. Last portage, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Nice flat ground, the water's right all around me. I'm on this peninsula. It'd be great. Great camp spot for our last night here. Let's get those fish cooked. I'm going to be using my reflector oven for this fish. So we'll switch it up the next fish we cook. But right now, I've been dying to broil a trout the whole trip in my reflector oven. Perfect. I want to throw my grill in there just so it doesn't bow like it was. Nice and flat. Then I've got some lard and lemon, and I think I'm going to steal some of Sean's Montreal steak spice. Throw that on there a little bit too. Should be good. Take a hunk of that, throw it right on the fish. Fat's dripping off already. She's cooking up nicely. Sprinkle a little of that on there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We've been waiting seven days for this. <laughs> it's finally happening. Been catching, been catching fish off the chain, pike and walleye, lots and lots of them. But uh, the lake trout's something special. I cannot wait to eat this for lunch. Well, that's cooking. I'm going to cut up this other piece and put it in my breading. And I'm gonna have little, little deep fried bites. I'm gonna leave the skin on because it's trout, and I like trout skin. Today's our last day, so I don't mind putting it in the um, the breading bag because I won't be catching, I won't be eating any more fish after tonight. Just gonna make little bite-sized pieces as my lemon falls into the grass. I'll we'll go from there. almost done so I'm just gonna squeeze the lemon out on it. oh the lemon feels good in my multiple cuts in my hand that's for sure throw that back on for a couple more minutes she's just not done in the center oh my hands I just came down to the water to wash my hands and you can see a dragonfly here it just came out of his exoskeleton and there's one down here that's even um, 
more emerging, more new. Newer, I guess would be the word. There he is there, he hasn't ha doesn't have his wings fully out yet. And then his exoskeleton is right behind him. Pretty cool. We've been seeing the little shells, exoskeleton casings um, this whole trip, but haven't seen them hatching. Pretty cool. What are you doing with yours, Sean? Stuffing this leg through with some stuffing that I made at home. Breading and seasoning, some you know, dried vegetables. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stuff up the cavity. I deboned it already. And I'll put that in the reflector oven or in some, I did bring some tin foil, I could do that as well. But since we have the reflector oven, I might as well use it. Put that right. And uh, let it roast for maybe half an hour. And, Oh, you're gonna eat it? I'm gonna eat it. Tasty. Yeah, with some rice. Oh, yeah. Mmm, tasty, tasty. We're done. We're calling her done. Propped it up in the back with a little bit of stick. I just got an angle. Oh man, it's good. Oh, it's so good. Oh man. It's too good. It's good, man. It's really good. Yeah, the fish catching and eating grid for sure. Jerk ass Joe Goofy grin. <laughs> I'm a happy boy. I am, son. Look at that. All done. That was so good. I'm not going to eat the skin on this one, but the next piece I do, I'm going to eat the skin. Very, very tasty. Loving that reflector oven. Not, not such a shabby spot. We got a loon singing out there. Some ambient music. Sean's cooking up his stuffed trout with some tin foil inside the reflector oven. I believe I'm going to, no, not I believe, I am going to. I'm going to <laughs> believe in myself. I'm going to fry up my next filet. And you already saw me bread it and everything. So I'm going to put lots of lard, kind of deep fry it as much as I can in there. Super pumped on that. We are done. Look at that. Greasy as ever. All right, she's done, folks. Let me give her a try. It looks good. Did I mention I was a happy boy? That's so good. That's so good. I got, um, my water on the go. Got to wait like half an hour till it's ready. And I have. Dun, 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 dun. Pink lemonade powder. I'm gonna put that in there. Have a grand old feast here, man. This is my favorite day. This is my favorite day of the trip so far. This is a very good culmination to our seven day trip. Eight day trip. Day seven now. That trout was really good. All done. I went down and cleaned up the rest of the trout we have. A nice bag of meat, bag of trout meat. So uh, we're gonna eat good tonight. The wind's coming in, the rain's coming in right now, so I've got all my uh, rain gear on. I'm gonna go back and cut some wood so that we can keep the fire going and stay out here regardless. Uh, 
as long as he doesn't start booing on us. Yep. So twisted. The wood around, around here is super tough. There's tons of twists in it. The grain. There we go. We had to come out for another paddle. Got our fishing gear with us too, obviously. It's our last night here, so really nice night. Calm, birds are singing. It's very peaceful. And Sean gets a fish. I'd like to see my family. I've been gone for a long time. But yeah, I feel uh, like we really got into the groove. We really needed to do what we did. We did what we needed to do. These seagulls are laughing at us constantly. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. Ha ha ha. Dude, he's. I don't know, maybe he's dive bombing my canoe though. Oh, he's. Maybe it's this other bird. There's all sorts of things going on up there. Oh! Double whammy! We're back from fishing now. We've got some supper on, it's like 8 o'clock or something like that. We're gonna do rice and trout. Our last meal. This is a mess! This is a hot Fun. mess! This, this is definitely a hot mess. <laughs> Look at this resinous fire. It has like deep breath. <laughs> ah, it's so hot! <laughs> so hot! Alright, we got dinner on. Squirting the last of the lemon. And a trout and rice for me with flatbread that Sean just made. So this is nice and lardy, lardy lard. I had almost all this lard left because I cooked fish different ways and I didn't cook as much fish as I should have when I caught them. So we larded it all up. Almost deep fried them. Some homemade uh, fish crust that Sean made. It's a really good meal. Yeah, that's great. Fun bread. Cheers. <laughs> it's our last night here. That lemon is a nice touch. It is. Mm. Well, it really screws it up. I was not liking it as much without the lemon.
carried that for like eight, what, eight days now. Mm -hmm. The lemon that was made the portage is harder. Got to blow down. No. Not the axe or the lemon. Not the axe that didn't get used. Not the Sherpa. Seven pounds. Seven pounds. So that thing's seven pounds, man. So it'd be more, but. Sad to go. Also happy to go home and see our families. Mm -hmm. That's my theme. See the family. Log the memories. Look at the film. Yeah. Look, look at the footage. Edit the video. Edit the pictures. Get excited about that. Yeah. Yep. It's been a long time. It's been a good trip. Bucket list trip for me for sure. Everything happened that I wanted to happen. Hooked into all the fish, fly in fishing, good weather, great sunset, great moon rising, horrible weather, mm -hmm. near death experience on the waves, trees falling over. Yeah, on film. Sean got a tree falling over on film. That's, man, we were tucked up away from those trees too in the rain, standing there on that burn. Yeah, just a crazy trip, man. Epic trip. Tired, ready to go home, and the maps will be out within the end of the week. We'll get on the next trip. You know it. That's how it goes, man. It's about 10 o'clock now. The rain's coming down pretty hard. Just standing here getting soaked anyway, so just cleaning up before bed. It's our last night. We're going to bed. I'm going to make a call to the to the uh, airway to make sure they're going to pick us up in the morning with this weather. But other than that, I'm tired too. I'm going to bed. Good night. Just in my tent now. You can see how late it is out. Still, it's after 10. I have no light on in here at all. And it's filming like this. Just got off the sat phone with the outfitters. Looks like they will most likely be able to get us tomorrow. So that's pretty cool. I'll be here around 9.45 in the morning. I just switch up times a little bit. But it's hard to believe that this is the last night. It's, uh, it's been... Probably the best trip I've ever been on. Lots of things happened, lots of firsts for me, and uh, just just an epic trip all around. Brand new place, super far north. Awesome spot here. So I'm gonna gonna call it a night and uh, dreaming boat canoeing. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Here we are, day eight, finally. Just laying in bed, it's probably 5.30, I think. 5.40. Just uh, thinking about this trip, thinking about all the things that happened. So many things happened in these eight days. It's like a bittersweet kind of feeling right now. I'm anxious to go home. I'm anxious to even get out of here to be able to call my family, make sure everything's okay. But... Uh, yeah, just feeling, feeling at one with this place, feeling peaceful, feeling in the moment. This whole trip I felt in the moment. I haven't really thought about too much else other than what's going on right now. Normally I'm thinking about what's going on at home and, yeah, just immersion. Immersion after seven full days, days eight. <sighs> What a great trip. I think I'm gonna get up now, make some breakfast, and uh, just hang around the fire, build a little bit of a fire. Got get picked up at 9:45, I believe. So got a couple hours to sit around. What a crazy trip. Woodland Caribou.
Okay guys, that's it. We're just waiting for the plane to come get us. It should be here within the hour. Had a great trip. Lots of awesome stuff happened. Uh, had a great time. Yeah, I had a great time too. It's nice to see it end on one hand and on the other hand it's really sad to sad to leave. Yeah, so if you ever plan on doing a trip like this, man, just jump into it and do it. Like uh, it's it's a once in a lifetime kind of thing, a bucket list kind of trip. Um, just thanks to everybody who was involved. Thanks to Sean. Thanks to Harlan at Red Lake Outfitters. I had a great time. So uh, getting excited to get home and get the uh, footage edited. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one.